What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JB, aka the King of Soul, and today we got some reels to look at. Air Jordan 1 High OG and the Shattered Backboard Colorway. Before we get into the review, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you do like the content, do me a favor, hit that like button and feel free to share. Um, also, feel free to leave a comment down at the bottom. Um, follow me on all of my social media network sites. I'm actually on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, everything is at The King of Soul. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the shoot. Air Jordan 1 High OG, Shatter Backboard. Now, the shoe does come in your regular Air Jordan 1 box, like nothing special. Um, the box, it does read, the colorway actually does read black, um, starfish, and sail. Um, when this shoe was released back in 2015, it was an immediate, it was an immediate sellout. Um, and it did sell out instantly. Um, right now, it is one of the most sold at the shoes that are on the market. Um, right now, in the resale market, whether it's like, you know, StockX, Go, any of them. Um, right now, for this particular shoe, in my size, which is a 13 US, um, you're looking at about $1,800. Um, when this shoe did come out, like, you know, it was one of those situations where, like, um, people were amazed and, you know, impressed by the quality of the shoe. Um, so whenever Air Jordan 1s are released, it does not matter, like, you know, whether if it's today, yesterday, since 2015, like, this shoe right here um, is actually the holy grail when it comes to, like, Air Jordan 1. Um, people talk about like the materials, like the leather on it is like, you know, real soft. Um, the color blocking is what you would find on like, you know, the Air Jordan 1 uh, bread toe, um, the court purples as well. Um, anytime I feel like they, you know, the Jordan brand, whenever they um, make a shoe in this color blocking, I just feel like, again, like I said in my previous videos, they can never lose with this option. It doesn't matter what, what color that they throw on this particular shoe when it's in this color block and they're going to win every time. Um, so let's just go ahead and take a uh, look at the left shoe. Um, now, if you're not familiar, which I, I'm pretty sure you are, but I mean, uh, in most cases, like a lot of people, I'm pretty sure you're tired of hearing the story. Um, the legend of this particular shoe. So the orange, black and white actually comes from um, back in 1985, um, Michael Jordan did travel over to Italy uh, where he did play in um, an exhibition game. Um, the team's jerseys was in this orange, black, and white colorway. Um, you could actually go ahead and look it up. Like it was um, the, I guess like, you know, like during the game, um, Michael Jordan actually went up for a dunk and he actually, you know, broke the, you know, glass, hence the name, you know, shattered backboard. Um, he was not wearing this particular color shoe, of course. He was wearing the um, Air Jordan 1 uh, Chicago's. Um, but what Nike and the Jordan brand decided to do was, you know, kind of um, embrace that moment by releasing the sneaker um, that was kind of like, you know, in that same color blocking as the team's jerseys. So whenever an Air Jordan is released, it does seem like it's a situation where people tend to compare this sneaker um as like it's like it's like it's the holy grail when it comes to like quality i will admit when you touch the shoe once you have it in hand you can see why you know people tend to you know do that um the excellent on here the the leather on here is excellent um you got thick cuts here which is in most cases on air jordan ones is not that thick um but just because i don't want you guys to be fooled just because you might have a thicker cut leather does not necessarily mean that the leather is of better quality. You gotta understand, Jordan 1s, um, they are very inconsistent. When the Jordan brand, when Nike, whenever they do release sneakers or have shoes made, they do, you know, send, you know, information over to the factories over in China. Um, they do hire several different factories is not one particular factory so let's say it was a situation you had three factories pr producing this one shoe that's where the inconsistencies come into play um, with this particular shoe what i've noticed over time is that it's a situation where like the orange 
will be a little bit more, you know, muted on some pairs. Um, this particular pair that I do have in hand, it does kind of, you know, go with what you would like to see online. Like this is spot on. But when you guys are in the resale market, if you are looking to pick up one of these, one thing I don't want you to do is be so caught up in like, you know, the actual tint of the color of the shoe, because again, it's gonna always be inconsistent. But um, going into the review, um, on the lateral side of the shoe, of course, you got your Air Jordan 1 wing logo, orange along the panels here. Now, when you go in the midsection here, now this is a sale color. It is more premium, I will admit, here, because sometimes they may have um, like, Another like, you know, it'll be the same color blocking, but in other shoes, it's like, you know, this area here, it'll be a pretty good leather, but a wet leather, it would not be like this, you know, plush or premium. Um, for some reason, like, you know, in this shoe, it's just like everywhere you touch it, it's just like real soft. So this is, again, one of those reasons why people tend to use this as the benchmark when it comes to, you know, comparing uh, the Air Jordan 1s. Um, so going over to the front of the shoe in the toe box, yeah, real soft leather. It does like, you know, tumble. Um, on the medial side of the shoe, you're pretty much met with the same thing. Same overall build as any other Air Jordan 1. You get orange along the panels. Um, black Nike check, sell in the middle. Um, the shoe does come, you know, I lace my shoe, but it does come pre stitched with the um, black laces. Um, it does come with another, well, two sets of laces on the um, left shoe. And the extra laces that come with this shoe, actually it's just one. Um, you actually just get like this sail. Um, it's like an extra lace and the sail color is not white, it's to match like, you know, the panel on the shoe. Um, but the left shoe is consistent you know, just with um, the other shoes. So you got orange on the panels, black Nike check, same overall build as the other shoe. The other side matches as well. Um, on the tongue of the shoe, of course, like, you know, they got this sale tag with the orange Nike Air. And then on the inside of the shoe, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys have probably seen this before, and I will get a close up of this on the B-roll, but it's not just your regular plain, you know, Nike Air logo on a white or a black or whatever, like, you know, the sole of the shoe, it does come with like you did this um, broken glass and rim artwork on the um, sole of the shoe, um, on the sole. Um, but overall, I do feel like this is one of the best Air Jordan ones um, ever released. Um, I'm gonna definitely go ahead and give this a shoe a 10 out of 10. Um, I don't know what else, what else could be said about this shoe, but I mean, it is a classic, but I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, but there's the front of the shoe. There's the lateral side of the left shoe. There's the lateral side of the right shoe. I don't want the uh, sneakerheads to get mad at me, but there goes your hourglass on the back. There's your bottom. And that's it. Air Jordan on 1, high LG, shadow backboard. Again, if you guys, I don't know, I might go ahead, because I do, especially with the current release of the Air Jordan 1 Taxi, I may go ahead and do a comparison video on these two. Um, because I mean, it is like the taxi is like, you know, kind of equal in comparison when it comes to like, you know, the quality, but as I'm reviewing the shoe, I do see like, you know, some differences. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, you know, highlight those for you. So yeah, if I missed anything or if you guys have like any questions, definitely feel free to leave a, you know, comment down at the bottom. Um, and again, reach out to me on all of my social network, you know, sites and we'll just go from there. But Till then, see you next time.